Hello everybody. I'd like to talk about the computation of the Pearson correlation coefficient with the assistant of the using of Excel. In a previous presentation, I have talked about the hand calculations for the Pearson correlation coefficient. Now we need to utilize the Excel in order to facilitate these computations. What we have here in the left, we have a table contain two variables, X and Y, and we have 10 observation for each. We compute for the X squared and for Y squared and for the multiplication of X times Y, and we get all the sum for all of these variables. The count, which is the number of observation, we have 10 observation. So first of all, we need to use the general formula to compute for the correlation coefficient, which is the formula in the above. But we need to have the assistant of the Excel. So let's see our result in this cell, which is cell O6. First, we should write equal n multiplied by sum of xy. This is n, which is number of observations in cell C14, multiplied by sum of xy. This is sum of xy in cell G13, minus sum x multiplied by sum of y. This is sum x multiplied by sum of y. All of these divided by the square root. So we select the square root formula. N sum of x square, this is n times sum of x square, this is sum of x square, minus sum of x all squared, this is sum of x multiplied by itself two times, all of these multiplied by these value in the these two brackets. This is n multiplied by sum of y square. This is sum of y square minus sum of y all squared. This is sum of y multiplied by itself two times. So we click enter. So the result appear. So the value of the correlation coefficient small r is about 0 0.84 up to two decimal points. So 0 0.84 represent a strong correlation between the two variables x and y, and it is a positive correlation. So this is our result by using the general main formula to compute for R. So it's about 0 0.84. Let's start with other way to get the value of R. This time I'll use the data analysis. So first we click the data button. So in the right here we have the data analysis, we click the data analysis. So these analysis tools appears. We select the correlation. So he asked about the input, the data or the records we have. These are the values we have, including the labels which is X and Y. Our data is grouped by columns and labels are in first row. It's X and Y. We need to show the result in this worksheet and exactly in this 
cell so we click enter so he select the cell to show the result again one one time okay we have the result here the value or the correlation between x and x is one this is obvious if we try to compute the correlation between some records and the same records we get a full positive correlation which is one and this is our result here the correlation between x and y it is about 0 0.84 so we get the same result same like what we have seen before so this is another way which is the using of the data analysis let's use another way simply by writing equal here and we have the function which is correlation so we write cor so he understand that we need the correlation function so we double click for the correlation first he asks about array number one array number one here represent the records for the first variable which is these variables so we then put comma then he asks you to select array 2 and array 2 is simply the records for the y variables so we click then enter so we get the same result it is 0 0.84 same like what we have got in the previous procedures Another way to compute for the Pearson correlation coefficient is using the insert of function. So we click for this f sub x, which is the insert of function. So we select the correlation function. So double click for the correlation function. Again, he asks you about array number one and array number one is simply represent the records for the first variable which is the x variable then we select for array two and array two is simply the records for the second variable which is y then we click ok so we see that we have the same result it's about 0 0.84 so the interpretation of the result shows that we have a strong positive correlation between the two variables x and y. That's all about the using of Excel in order to compute for the correlation coefficient small r. Thank you and goodbye.